Hey guys, if you're here, uh, hashtag live if you're here for the live and smash the heart button. We want the rest of the group to know that this interview is going on. And uh, we have the, the, the legendary Aaron James. <laughs> he, um, ha we're going to be talking about his software and uh, how it'll help everyone. But, uh, but we'll start off with his story. Hey, Dan, Dan Friegel, the Don is here. All right, so let's yeah, get. I on. can't see the questions, so if they come up, I guess I'll just leave it on uh, on to you. So. Oh yeah, with Be Live, I can highlight their questions. Oh, ask yeah. questions, you guys. With Be Live, I can highlight your question and pop it up onto the screen for Aaron to answer. So, hey, Aaron, welcome to my group. Uh, I'm glad to have you here. I want everyone in my group to get to know who you are. Thank you. Uh, so, tell me about yourself and let us know your story. All right, uh, let me see if I can do it uh, without getting too long-winded. So, um, you know, I guess, you know, from the beginning, uh, very entrepreneurial. Uh, while I was in college, um, I went and started a, a little kiosk in a mall and uh, ended up growing it. Did really, really well while I was in, uh, while I was in college. Um, this is before, now again, I'm going to date myself, but this is before, you know, before Facebook, before website, before pretty much anything, you know I mean? 20 years ago, <laughs> but literally, yeah, I don't want to date myself, but yeah, that's when I was in college. And so, um, literally, um, you know, grew it to like, uh, three locations, like 30,000 a month, you know, I brought fancy cars, you know, like when most people newly, newly hit it, you know, you go and buy everything. And I did that. Um, I ended up, um, you know, heading towards the, the corporate America world after college, um, went into the financial world and, um, got into wealth management, stuff like that. And then uh, I, I wanted to pursue even higher level. So um, I ended up going to uh, a short, short little stint in, um, in uh, graduate school, uh, law school, whatever. I, I hate saying it. I hate admitting to it. But I, I went there. And um, while I was there, I had to work my way through. Um, I, I ended up working for a company called yellowpages.com. So at the time, um, it, it wasn't owned by AT&T. Um, but during my, my working there, it was bought out by at t and I literally learned from some of the best um, there was in like digital marketing. You know, these, these guys had some, some awesome stuff. I'm going to kick this thing off because since I can't see the, I can't see the questions anyways. So I'm just going to kick that off that little thing. And so anyways, from there, you know, I really, I really learned a lot. Um, you know, I learned a lot. And uh, while I was there, I decided to start my own website. So I started a website called consignment.com. And um, by the time I was about to finish my first year, uh, the website was doing, you know, pretty much, you know, more in a month than I thought that I'd be making in a year for as being an attorney. So I left, I left after my first year of law school, um, went and bought a, a, a physical store and set it up and grew it. And it was awesome. Uh, went on for about two years and, um, you know, it was really fun. Went around picking up junk furniture and reselling it online and stuff like that. And then uh, I ended up meeting a partner and uh, basically an investor. And we opened up a, uh, a brick and mortar store. So the, uh, the brick and mortar store was, was pretty cool. Um, we grew that from, you know, starting off doing roughly about 30,000 a month. Uh, and I grew it to over a quarter million a month. So I ended up having a, a major furniture store. And then I grew out three, three mattress stores like a chain, buy here, pay here. Um, and then that's when uh, my daughter came along. Aww. So uh, my daughter came along and uh, pretty much it was the moment when she spoke. Um, you know, the first words she said when she said it, you know, like daddy. And I don't know what it was, but it hit me like a ton of bricks. And, um, I knew that as much as that I had and what I was doing, I was empty. Um, it, it was the wrong thing. It's not what I was supposed to be doing. And, um, ultimately I ended up getting uh, a buyout and I went to go figure out life. I had to figure it out. I had to go find out what's going on. Um, yeah. you know, I didn't walk away with millions, but you know, I walked away with a, a decent chunk of change and, um, I ended up taking a little bit too long to figure out life. Um, I ultimately pretty much lost it all. So I lost it all. Um, you know, kind of, uh, you lost it all. Like I lost it all. You out and then what's that? So you got bought out, right? Like your partnership. Yep. And then you just spent all the money. Pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. it's not like it just doesn't happens overnight. It's like you don't plan it. You know what I mean? You don't plan it. You know, it's just like 
like like a lot of these people online like you're probably watching a lot of affiliate marketers or not affiliate marketers but you watch a lot of digital marketers and and people they'll they'll come into money and then you know maybe like their courses and keep going or something like you probably don't hear about a lot of those stories but you know when you're new to money and stuff like that you know you don't really manage it very well you don't think like you don't think it's ever going to end so um i was about eight months into like not working you know after i got out and and literally the money ran out like it did it it ran out um you know i made a few poor choices myself um there's no doubt that i contribute to it um you know trying to live a, a rock star life and uh it all came to an end uh it came to an end it came to such an end that i had to move in with my parents um i moved into the basement of their their home and um you know kind of hid there for months uh i was pretty much you know pretty much going to say goodbye to the world i was looking on social media and that's where i came across um, this infusion soft community, uh, it blew my mind. Um, and, um, I had to learn more about it. Uh, so a lot of people that they know me online, they see this, the, the blessed, you know, they, I usually have the, uh, the blessed hats, stuff like that. You know, you see me with Gary Vin, like, I don't know if you can see me with like, yeah, I'll show you guys in the back. There's, uh, you know, me and Ryan Dice and that's me and Gary, Gary Vanachuk. That's, uh, me and Russell Brunson. You know, if you see all this different stuff, it's on my Facebook. Um, <laughs> and so what happened there, um, I uh, I ended up seeing one of my friends on social media and he had a picture of like a cross. And I'm like, dude, like, like, what are you doing? You holy roller? What are you Jesus freak? You know, here I am like busting a job. I'm like, dude, you and I were in the clubs, like having fun, you know, when we were younger. And uh, I don't know what it was. He's like, hey, you want to meet up with me on Sunday? And I was like, oh boy, here we go. <laughs> and so I, I met him at church that day. Um, and, uh, that, that fateful day, um, I walked into that church and it hit me like a ton of bricks. It was like someone like went boom and like literally hit me and, uh, you know, wept and all that different stuff. And I knew right then and there that that was, that was my path. So I ultimately, uh, ended up getting baptized. Um, I ended up going on and pursuing and got my certificate of ministry and, um, kind of got a new take on life. You know, I, uh, I pretty much asked the man upstairs if that, if I could just have one more chance to be a father to that little girl, you know, that chance that I missed, um, you know, I would, I would, uh, you know, forever serve him. And, um, I ultimately started just helping small business owners. I mean, I, I knew business and, um, but I also knew what it was like for these brick and mortar business owners. So I just started helping one after another, one after another. Um, you know, even to this day, I keep this card on my desk. You know, I started off with, you know, just charging people, you know, $299 a month. You know, that's all it was. This was my first logo right there. Um, you know, I, I, I formed this company called the Small Business Deacon, which Deacon means server. And I just started helping small businesses. And then next thing you know, one thing after another, one thing after another. And, um, you know, pretty much just started leading to more and more business. And from there, um, I ultimately getting larger and larger clients. Um, I got a big break when I started poking around in Boston. I'm originally from Rhode Island. And uh, I started poking in Boston, uh, picked up a major client, and it just led to more and more. Ultimately, um, you know, I, I kind of say my claim to fame, you know, I ended up landing major cities. Um, I, I have a pro sports league as a client, um, you know, major global companies. And uh, I even landed a country, which was pretty cool. What country? So, what country? Uh, China. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's so cool. So, um, it was really awesome. Uh, it's their women's national hockey team. So I was proud. Uh, my, my actual website's in, in Wikipedia and everything. So it was pretty cool. And uh, see, the thing about it is, um, you know, it was, it was very interesting because I really found that going out and helping small business owners, like you go and help them. And it was always this, this need. It was like their website always sucked or they didn't have anything or whatever it was. Or, and I used to tell them, like, just get Wix, get Wix, get Squarespace. Do something to make yourself look better. I mean, you look, you look like really bad. I can't help you with social media marketing. I can't do that for you. Um, and so ultimately, obviously, over that time, I got really, really good at sites and stuff like that. And then ultimately, I started realizing that, you know, look, grab the website and then I'm able to get all their social media marketing forever. So I was getting their Facebook. But at the time, it was really AdWords. AdWords was really popular. Um, you know, now it's obviously Facebook. But I grab their AdWords. You grab their SEO. You get all the different stuff. So um, circle back now, 2017. Um, I, uh, you know, was kind of sitting in a, a position of, I don't know, I felt like it was like a midlife crisis. So um, I decided to to um, to go out and um, explore again. And that's where I came across the uh, ClickFunnels community. So I came across ClickFunnels. 
What's that? Before you continue. Hey, Ari. Hey, Ronaldo. Well, there's some kind of echo. Hey, Paula. Um, thanks for joining us. Hey, Aaron. I mean, why do I keep saying Aaron? Um, <laughs> <laughs> live guys hashtag live and smash the heart button i do want everyone else in this group to know that this is going on because we have aaron on here he's been in the business world for over 20 years um a lot of valuable advice and so and also <laughs> drop your questions in the comments so, uh, because this is interactive, but Aaron is telling us his story. And at this point, it's when he found out about um, ClickFunnels, which yeah. I don't know how long ago. <laughs> yeah, so we're we're right about towards the, uh, I guess, the middle of like 2017, somewhere in there. And um, it wasn't about the software. I knew about Russell. I knew about the software, but it yeah. was the community. It was finding the community and seeing like all of these aspiring I guess, digital entrepreneurs, and then you have a lot of people. So I got involved in the courses, right? So that's kind of like um, what I really saw. And I saw everyone setting up courses to teach. And so, you know, my mission, which I don't have my sign anymore, but my mission has always been from day one, which is, let's see if I can do this. It's uh, invigorating the spirit of entrepreneurship. So that's I originally, that's my logo. It's invigorating the spirit of entrepreneurship. And so I said, well, hey, I have an opportunity to impact more lives. Um, I've always appreciated startups. You know, the corporate world is not that fun. Um, but so I got into the course game. And as I started doing it, I was teaching people how to start off building websites. Um, kind of like tripped and fell a little bit, you know, it just required so much. And then I said, finally, I said, you know what? I put them on this platform that I built. I had this like platform that I built for small business owners and it like took off. Um, it was really cool, like the students. And so I knew it was right then and there. And that's where I created this thing called Insutanto. Insutanto. So, like, yeah. So Insutanto started off as a, um, like a training platform. It was a, a place where someone could come and learn, um, you know, how to, how to like, you know, get the basics of setting up a site, stuff like that. And, uh, all throughout 2018, um, like I said, that's where I kind of, you know, started hooking up with you know, major marketers, you know, I, I joined the 2CCX program with ClickFunnels. Um, you know, I was honored to hang out with, you know, Gary V and a lot of his associates. Um, you know, I joined uh, Digital Marketers uh, Partner, uh, Certified Partner Program. And um, so I started adding more and more stuff to the platform that you know, I could, what's that? Do you know Mark Stern? He's my friend, uh, and he went through the Two Comma Club X program too. Yeah, I mean there was five hundred and seventy six of us. So um, I I've heard that the name sounds familiar, but I don't think I know him. You know, so um, so anyways, um, that's how it kind of evolved, and um, you know, I had a great run with it. You know, last year I launched it officially on July sixth. I'm sorry, July fourth. Uh, celebrate your independence. You know, July fourth. And uh, it's been an awesome tool. Um, I've taken, uh, I've done some, I guess you could say like case studies. And then just last year uh, for about uh, two months, I took a, a group of people who've never started a digital agency before. And I said, all right, great. And I put them through uh, like a two month program. And uh, these, this group of, uh, I think we had 12, group of 12, they did over uh, $86,000 um, in, in sales in, uh, in less than 60 days. So, um, wow. you know, it kind of like, you know, proved the model. And so, uh, you know, that's, that's where I'm at. Here I am. Welcome to January. Wow. Your life story is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like yeah. a, it's like a mixture between brick and mortar and digital world, you know, and a lot of times I, I don't hear much of that. It's like they make it with digital or they make it with brick and mortar, but they kind yeah. of stay in their lane kind of. Um, but, um, tell me more about this. Uh, so we, I want to kind of dive deep a little bit deeper into Go for it. what makes that difference, uh, between, you know, you said that they did 86 K in sales. Like what are the things that makes it different besides just for an agency, like knocking on doors, um, yeah. you know, figuring it out somehow, like what was that? Is there like a couple of things that, that make that huge difference? Yeah, sure, sure. So 
um, one of the things that I, I talk about um, a lot is you see a lot of beginning or aspiring or people that are just starting out and they're trying to do Facebook ads for a business. So like if you think about it for a moment, you're just trying to start out. You don't really have experience and you're going to go out there and go try to tackle one of the hardest things there is. Like, I don't care who you are. Facebook is still hard. Okay. Mm -hmm. Doing ads is hard because it's a moving target. You know, there's auction systems, whatever. It's a moving target. It's never the same. There's no like one cookie cutter blueprint. And so I, I've watched a lot of those people last year um, try to start that Facebook agency and ultimately their dreams of being a digital entrepreneur start to like fade away or get crushed. And in my mind, I'm just like, like, why don't you just set them up at the website first? Like you guys don't understand that. Um, you know, if you go into a small business owner, again, we're talking about brick and mortar. I'm not talking about like, like info marketers. Okay. It's not what I'm doing. I'm talking about like brick and mortar business owners, you know, florists, carpenters, electricians, plumbers, CPAs, lawyers, you know, distributing companies, all the stuff like that I have. Um, and you go in there and you help them out with, you know, I call it a website makeover. You know, a lot of these small business owners and I teach people, I'll show people if you guys want to see it. Um, literally just go dive on the yellow pages right now. You know, I, I, I'm not kidding you. I worked for the company, so I know the ins and outs of it. And literally they're just sitting on that directory waiting for somebody to come rescue them that they literally are. And so, um, I teach them how to go on there, uh, use other resources, you know, you know, Craigslist is a great resource. I know a lot of you don't think so. Um, and then also you have stuff like indeed, you know, here's, here's the deal. Like when you are able to go in and talk to a business owner in their language. That was the one thing because I come from the brick and mortar world. And mm -hmm. so if you go into a small business owners and you talk to them about working for them for a couple hours a day, a couple days a week, let me help you out with something, they're more willing to bring you in and let you go because they're used to paying by the hour. And so, you know, the strategy that I teach people is Go into these small business owners that are already paying for digital marketing services. Like, well, what do you mean? Well, they're already paying for it because you can go right on these directories like Yellow Pages and Super Pages, and you can go look and see that they're already paying for these services. It says right next to their name, premium or sponsored. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know they're paying. And so that, that means that they appreciate that people are online looking for their goods or services. So yeah. you don't have to go over that obstacle. Yeah. That's already been sold. But the problem is, is you know that being on a directory like yellowpages.com, like who the heck uses yellowpages.com? Nobody. No like, one. no, no, you use Google. And so you know that they're not getting results. And so literally you can go in there and basically, um, you know, swipe them. And so you start working for them little. And so you go up, you know, little by little. Let me do a little social media marketing for you. If you're good at Facebook ads, do Facebook. You know, then you start, you know, a little bit of work or right from the beginning, like, hey, I noticed your website is broken. I noticed that you're paying for a slot and you actually don't even have the website. It goes to a 404 page. And most of these business owners are like, yeah, well, who am I going to call? I don't know who to speak to. And so just the fact that they do that, you, you know, you can go in there and well, let me set you up with the, you know, like three, five, something really nice. And what happens is the relationship stops off with a mutual exchange. So like today's day, we see a lot of the beginning Facebook marketers and they're like, oh, let me do a trial to earn your business. And so they do this free trial and they're working and takes a lot of time. And then they don't achieve that certain expectation that the business owner thinks he should be getting. And next thing you know, like the relationship's breaking. Or even let's say that you do get a client for a month or two and Facebook does something stupid like last year, like they block bots. You know what I mean? Like they do dumb stuff. Um, it hurts that small person trying to start off, you know? Yeah. And so, um, we've had a lot of, a lot of success with this model of going in, helping them out so because they hand you $500 or a thousand, or look, I've got people grabbing 2,500 from my program, like right up front, but they hand you money and you give them something and it feels like a fair trade. Does that make sense? Yeah. And they're like, oh, we like this. They like you. You have a chance to build a relationship. And it's like, it's a great way to start the business. 
But the whole time you're going in and talk to them, you're obviously setting them up for digital marketing services, you know, because yeah. the next thing they're going to do is like, oh, hey, you've got a pretty site or a funnel. I don't care. Set them up with a funnel or something. You know, the idea that you're, you're setting them up with a way to capture leads. And now the next thing is like, hey, dude, we have people coming to the site. I can tell you that because I've set up Google Analytics. There's people coming to your site. And he's like, well, I'm not getting phone calls. Well, yeah, because that's why they're on the Internet or else they would have used the phone book. So you set them up with a CRM. You know, or an email responder, whatever it is, use active campaign, get response, MailChimp. I don't care. I use Infusionsoft, whatever you want to do. And so now you have a chance to grab recurring income. And then the next logical step is obviously to drive traffic to that system, you know, drive traffic to that system. And so, you know, I, I say if you're just starting off, um, use something like Hootsuite. You know, you can go on there and just drive some traffic for free. You know, if you don't feel that confident with Facebook. But obviously, if, you, if you're good with Facebook, go to that next. You know, if it's a larger company like I have, you go right to Google AdWords. Google AdWords will, will crush it. You know, ask Tony about that. He's a, he's a Google AdWords guy. So um, yeah, that's, that's the awesome. system. <laughs> yeah. And so that's the system. And that's like basically what I did, Kim, is I took a course and I built a software out of it that not only is it a software, like it's a training platform like where you can learn and actually use it for your clients. Like we have these, these members, I call them members. I want to call them my students, but I don't, they're members. And I mean, they've got the websites ranked on page one Google, you know, they set them up with the CRMs, you know, and, and so I'm always in, you know, the group, like trying to train them and, and give them, you know, what they need to get going. So um, it's turned out to be really something awesome. And over the last year, like I said, I've added some stuff to it. So no longer is it just, websites you know i've added bots i've added funnels to it i've added webinars and now we have a crm and a social media marketing platform management platform and uh it's a it's a it's a full complete product that you can use for yourself and you can use it for your clients and you can control them all on your dashboard and what's really cool is like your controls when you're in here you can jump in and out of them so um you know it's really been something um something awesome for the right individual, you know, by all means. And um, the newest thing that we just did, or I did, um, is I just added membership sites to it. So now people are able to build their courses inside of it and sell them, et cetera. So it's really cool. Yeah, we just launched our first members membership site. So oh, it's wow. pretty cool. Yeah. I, 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 I have to like, that's okay. Well, yeah. Someone who hasn't visited. Hey, well, well, let me take a second to say, hey, Tony, thanks for joining us. Hey, Paula. Um, if you guys have any questions, please drop them into the comments and hashtag live if you hear live and hashtag replay if you hear for the replay and mm -hmm. smash the heart or wow button. Um, but uh, let let me tell me about your platform. You okay? When you audibly describe it to me, I'm like. It could be anything. It could be, you know, I, in my mind, I'm like, what does it look like? Does it have every single thing that to me, it sounds like, wow, that's like a lot of stuff. Like, um, yeah. it's a plat like, give me a, like a, a simple one line, like the platform helps you. Is it, maybe I should just look it up for you now. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's a fair question. You know, it's, it's a fair question. And, and Kim, the way I do it is that, um, you know, it, in Sutanto, um, you know, on the website, you'll see it's instant, uh, you know, business websites, bots, funnels. Um, but it's, it's the instant platform. It's a platform to build a digital agency. You uh, know, when people on the internet these days, like here, a lot of people may hate me for this, but let me explain something to you guys. Okay. You are not just one funnel away. Okay. You're not. Like, <laughs> you're not. Like, literally, you're not. Okay. Let me explain something to you. You're one funnel with one email follow up sequence and one Facebook ad and email program away. Okay. Like, you don't just set up a funnel and all of a sudden you become like a millionaire. Like, that funnel is going to require you to market it. You're going to have to put it out there in front of eyeballs. Okay. So, it's going to require digital marketing skills. OK, it's also going to require lead capture. It's going to require lead follow up. It's going to require 
multiple different things. It's going to require knowledge of emailing. And so essentially, um, you know, this tool allows you to learn multiple skills, you know, multiple, multiple things and apply them and then use them for clients. And so that's, that's where it's came about. Okay. So it's tailored for agencies. Um, yes. Aspiring digital agency entrepreneurs. That's what it's for. Oh, wow. You could partner up. Well, you're starting an affiliate platform. Right. right? So, so actually tonight, um, you know, I'm proud to announce publicly um, because I held up for a long time um, about this. And um, I am I am publicly announcing uh, on your live and yeah. in uh, your group um, that the uh, affiliate program um, is open to the public. OK, Ooh. it's open to the public. If you want to learn about the affiliate public, uh, public, ugh, the affiliate program, head over to Insutanto website and it's underneath features. It's underneath features, okay? If you click under uh, the uh, features, it'll bring you to the affiliate program where you can learn about it, okay? So for a lot of people, for a lot of people, okay? Um, and then hold on, Tony, I want to address that comment in just a minute, okay? Hold on, I want to address that a comment, okay? Um, the affiliate program, so that I can describe this to you is like click funnels, but I call it for websites. Okay. So I want you guys to think about this for a moment right now in Sutanto is focused on educating, building, grooming, digital agency entrepreneurs. Okay. That's what I'm doing. Okay. Until I hit the 500 mark, that is what this focus will be on. That's all you'll hear me talking about. That's all I want to talk to. However, when you head over to Insutanto.website and you actually see it, I am going after Wix, Squarespace, and Shopify. Okay? And this is who I'm teaching these aspiring digital agency entrepreneurs who to go after. The small business owners that are on Wix the small business owners that are on Squarespace, and maybe the small business owner that is on Shopify, okay? Go after them, bring them over here, and you now can collect that revenue. So essentially, they can build their agency. So think about it. What if you just had a 0.001% of the amount of people that's on Wix? You know, don't get me wrong, like, ClickFunnels has a lot of people. Wix has got 1.2 million paying users. Squarespace has 750,000 paying users. Mm -hmm. And I won't even take into account like one in one, Weebly, GoDaddy built, stuff like that. Yeah. And so that's where I'm going. And you will see me turn that corner towards the end of this year. And I may do it sooner. Um, but right now we are putting. Um, 500 um I mean, i'm not too far from it uh right now my communities just broke 300 okay just broke 300 so the one thing i'll say to anybody here if you're an affiliate marketer if you missed the opportunity to build a massive business with click funnels i'm calling your name come on over come check it out here's what i want you to know i believe just like my mentor says, okay, that is my mentor, Russell Brunson, okay? I paid him $25,000 to call him that, and I'm going to call him that, is that I believe that every small business owner, these brick and mortars out there, needs a website and a funnel. They need a website and a funnel. Website and funnel. And a funnel, that's correct. Here's an opportunity for you guys to go out there and put these business owners, take their website business away from Wix, take it away from Squarespace or even Shopify, and you collect that revenue in your pocket. Because here's the one thing that I told Kim before we jumped on here. I have a very, very low cancellation rate. You want to know why? 
because people go and try click funnels. They, they just pop in, they pop out, they move, they move, and they switch and switch, and then they'll switch off and switch stuff. When people come into Tanto, <coughs> they're building their home on it. When people come here, I just threw that comment out there. <laughs> yeah, isn't that awesome? What did he say? The 25,000 one? You can also you can drink my Kool-Aid. Kool never pay anyone 25,000 to be my mentor. Okay, so not for nothing, John, just so we know can call this. Um, you know, I did, you know, and and sometimes that, you know, you've got to see the value in it, but however, I feel really bad for all those people who signed up for year 2 cuz uh uh, I'm I'm not part of the program anymore. I just let let people know I'm not part of the program. Um, you know, I did my time and uh, thank you. It was awesome. But um, you know, I I feel bad for those people that are actually signed up for year two and stuff. But that's all right. You got to understand that. You know, money. You know, is an exchange for value, right? You know what I mean? Like money's an exchange for value. So twenty five thousand sounds like a lot, but you know, it's eighteen hundred a month. And what was the value that I was getting by being part of a close knit community? Okay. Mm -hmm. Like I know a lot of people say that, and that's one of the things you guys need to think about. If you join a mentorship program or a mastermind that maybe the actual content might not be worth something, but the value of the relationships that you make will far supersede that. So anyways, you know, just to kind of, um, you know, throw that in there. John. Okay, John, I know <laughs> you're uh, one funnel away. He he made a funnel and um Yeah, I see him. John John's awesome. He's got that software. He's got an awesome affiliate program. I've seen that, John. He's doing great. You know, uh man, you know, kudos to everything he's doing. He's doing some awesome stuff. Plus, I want to pet his monkey. He has a he has a monkey, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love that. It's so cool. I see now. I was like, oh my god, I've always wanted one. So so, anyways, yeah. So so guys, um, if you, if you, well, I can probably, um, ah, well, we'll, we'll talk about it later. I was going to say, I was going to show some of the good sites, but all right, Kim, ask, ask me the next question. What do we got? Oh, okay. Well, I was listening. Yes. John's question is yes. So I'll just let you guys know that <clears throat> here's, here's what the opportunity is that these 300 people have seen is I charge them for the agency plan, okay? There's three plans, 17 bucks, 47, and 77. Mm -hmm. Head over to the, the website and you'll be able to see in a little bit more detail. I don't want to waste people's time. But most people are all on the 77 plan, which for you guys, if you get 50% of that, it's slightly right where you would be getting paid for ClickFunnels because ClickFunnels is 97, you know? So anyways, just to throw that out there. <clears throat> but what happens is you get three accounts, so what they do is they go and they build their eight, they go and build, yes, every John, just so you know, and uh, Tony probably will vouch for me. A lot of people will vouch for me that uh, my system is better than Builderall. But anyways, I'm not saying, I'm not comparing. Just there's a, anyways, let me complete that thought. So Kim, these people that come in here and they sign up for the $77 plan, what they're doing is they're building their agency website on it. Then they have two more. And what they do is they go land two more clients. Even if you charge that client only like 50 bucks, you don't have to charge them that. You can charge 35, 3850 is the number, <clears throat> something like that, 3850 to each client and you will make your money back, you know, 77 divided by two, whatever that is, you know, 3850. So you charge your client hosting fees, you charge your client security you know you charge them for an ssl all of this stuff is provided as part of the packages oh wow it's all provided plus again i want to get into all this little different stuff but hey what's going on catlin <laughs> so hey matt guys and smash the heart button <laughs> <laughs> here we go i'll help you out. i got a couple of likes here there we go cool. i've got it going on all right. Yeah, so that's that's what they're doing, Kim. Is that you get these people, and and to be frank with you, like it really, really appeals to a lot of the aspiring digital agency entrepreneurs. You know, people that are just starting. Okay, so for all you guys out there that are affiliate marketers, and you're looking for a passive income product that's going to stick, 
okay? Like, I want you to be introduced to Insutanto because let me explain something to you. Ty Lopez's program, what he, he is, was it 13,000 or 30,000? Whatever it was, it was a massive number of people that went out and tried to start a Facebook agency, his social media marketing agency, okay? And then, you know, wasn't like, you know, a lot of people came out of that program, but don't get me wrong, but then you have a lot of these other people um, that also have courses, and they're great. But let me explain something, Kim. Learning is not just about watching a video. You know, learning is not just about reading a book. Learning is actually about experience, like application. You know, what a lot of people miss, like especially like in college, like everyone on, online, we all know, like go to college and waste your money. Go to college, you get a degree, big whoop. When you get out, you don't get a job. I know I was in that case. I went and get paid, you know, what, 80 grand to go to a four-year college. <laughs> I got out with straight A's. And they're like, no, we're going to take this person who has experience. Well, that is what I'm doing with this platform, is that these aspiring digital agency entrepreneurs that may have not had success with a program like Max Finn's or Dan Henry's or any other Facebook ad agency, it's not because their information wasn't good and their program's no good. That stuff's awesome. But maybe the content or the way the thing was structured didn't work for them. And some people really need that hands-on thing, and that's where Insutanto has can set itself apart from everybody else. Hands-on. Hands-on? What do you mean hands-on? So when you go into, like, Instant I told you it's kind of like it was a, a course that morphed into like a modified, or I call it a, uh, you say a modified, um, you know, SaaS company, okay? Software, whatever people want to say. <laughs> you go in and you watch the videos. We have a membership area. You watch the videos, you watch the videos, you watch the videos, you go through it step by step. I show you how to do it. But then as you're watching the videos, you get to apply it. Like, think about if someone created. <clears throat> some Facebook simulator, like a Facebook advertising platform simulator. How awesome would that be is if you could take a Facebook course and at the same time be playing with the Facebook ads without using your own money? Oh, that's what it is? Well, that's think about it like that. Okay. Because I know, um, and you know, in my head, I'm like, because I'm, I come from, you know, I, I like the software and I like yeah. little Chrome extensions and stuff. So I'm thinking like, wow, how do you manage to like merge all that together? Like is hosting company plus course plus um, website building. That's like a lot just jam pack in one place. And yes. um, but that's what you did. Yes. <laughs> What you achieved. Correct. Like, like, don't get me wrong. Like, like a lot of people when I first launched this last year, they're like, oh, but click funnels, and they thought it was like a replacement. Like, by no means, this is something you use with click funnels. Like, click funnels is the number one funnel building software in the world. Hands down, no questions asked, and it will always be. Like, that stuff is awesome. I use it. Matter of fact, my funnels are built on it. You know, go download my book, go on my profile, you'll see. And Insutanto utilize that. But for a lot of people, Kim, where they're struggling, where they're, where, when they're just starting out, you know, I mean, even, you know, even I'm going to say, like, how can you not afford $97? But I watch a lot of people say, oh, $97 is too much. Yeah. And they try it. I know, like, you hear it a lot. Mm -hmm. And they try it. And then, like, they only can use it for like two months because then they, they don't make any money. You know what I mean? They don't sign up a client and they don't, or they don't build their course or something. Well, that's where I introduced funnels last year into Insutanto. Like you get access to them and you can learn. Once you learn and you get a client or two or three, please go get click funnels. Like, please, they integrate very well. Like one click integration. Like it's the best, you know, funnel software you can get. And so for all you affiliate marketers, that's where I want you to see the potential. Could you right now introduce this to all of your affiliates now that are using ClickFunnels? Yes. The answer is potentially yes, because 
are they using it for small business clients? Like, for example, like I just use Dan Henry's course because like I like it. I took it. He does great information and he's very well known. Okay. But Dan Henry shows you how to go take a set of funnels and use it for a small business client. He talks about dentists and chiropractic. You know, a lot of people in the community talk about that. Well, what if you do have those types of physical brick and mortar clients? Could they use a new website? Well, here's your opportunity to go collect yeah. 50% of that website that they're going to pay on and they're not going to move. You know, they're going to keep, once you build it once, it just keeps paying. And the other little benefit of it, thank you, whoever said that. <laughs> that is, uh, Catlin. Catlin, I would greatly appreciate to have the opportunity to to discuss even 15 minutes of your time uh, mm -hmm. about what I've been building and put together. Um, I have much, much respect for you. And I, I know your background with affiliate marketing and um, I appreciate that comment. Thank you kindly. So yeah, so that's that's what it is, Kim. And that's what I'm doing. You know, my, my, um, my goal has been to really, really affect the brick and mortar entrepreneur. You know, it's, it's in my heart, it's what I think that I have been, um, it's in, in my heart, it's what I feel has put me into this place. You know, mm -hmm. you know, I've got, you know, an agency, not course money that does very, very well with very prominent clients. And I don't believe that I would ever be in this, this position if my heart wasn't doing, you know, what I set out to do, you know, four years ago, you know, I made that, that solemn day. If I just had one more opportunity to be a dad to that little girl, you know, she's amazing. Um, and uh, it's, it's my why, you know, it's my why. So. I'm laughing because you're like, you remember, Aaron declined your friend request. <laughs> what does that say? Um, Catelyn's like, you declined his friend request a while ago. And I don't know when. You said decline my friend request. Oh, I declined it? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you. Knew if that. I did that, I got to tell you, um, <laughs> that seems awfully weird. Um that seems awfully weird. I, I highly doubt that because uh, maybe I did. If I did, I, I'm going to apologize because um, I don't remember. I'm, I'm not. Um, maybe it's an accident. I don't think that I'm, um, I'm Facebook socially um, inclined. You know, I, I struggle socially. I do. I struggle socially. Um, I was very fortunate to, um, to make some good friends, you know, like, like in the audience, Tony Tovar. Um, you know, I, I, I've got a chance to, you know, make some really, really good friends. Uh, a lot of them know that I have a lot of energy, uh, a lot of passion. Um, but that can be a lot of, that can be much for people. Um, by all means, I'm, I'm not perfect. Um, but I, I feel like I struggle socially. I struggle socially. I'm more, I'm more, uh, comfortable just kind of like, I guess being, uh, that introvert, you know, but yeah. you know, I, I get excited. I, I like people and it's just, uh, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. So anyways, thank you. <laughs> yes, I would I would love it. Thank you kindly, uh, Catelyn. Thank you so much. So and thank you for every, all the other people that are here. Shout out uh, to Catelyn and John. John yeah. Gregory, what do we got here? And it's awesome with solo ads. <laughs> you, guys, you guys got your shout out. All right, so here, let's do this. We have 11 people on here. Let me give them something exciting. How about that, Kim? Sure. All right, so a lot of people... Um, here, let me, let me do this one. Okay. So let's, let's turn my thing here and let's point if you guys, um, right here, if you guys see this, uh, that if you want to see that, um, you can go closer, you go look on my Facebook. So a lot of people take pictures with famous people like that's in Gary, um, Vaynerchuk's office, you know, um, this is, you know, you know, obviously his book, you know, signed copies. Like I was on his show. Um, I got lucky and, um, here's what I want to do. I want to like really spice it up for people. Um, <laughs> it's not weed. <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. So if you guys don't know, or have never seen his office, <clears throat> that's like his little corner office in New York. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you something. 
He has an army, like an army. There's got to be 300 people. I mean, the office is unbelievable and unbelievable. Do I have to smoke weed? I don't know. Um, he literally has two floors of people. It's insane. I've never seen anything like it in my life. Like, um, you know, his office. And, and it was an honor to spend. I spent the afternoon with him. It was it was great. Um, it was it was it was an honor. So anyways. <laughs> Hi, Gregory. Hey, Louise. Hey, Chris. Thanks for joining us. Hey, Nasir Rodin. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't butcher your name again. <laughs> um, guys, if you're here, hashtag live and smash the heart button. Um, Aaron is dropping a lot of value bombs for us right now. And uh, John and Catelyn are just talking amongst themselves in the comments. <laughs> questions, though, for Aaron, please drop them in the comments. Um, so, uh, okay, so that's really, I feel like your path has gotten you like super far and it led you into software and it led you now like a combination of software and course. And that's awesome. Um, I feel like, like, I don't even, I don't even understand how, how the massive amount of work you must put into doing the software, because for me, I'm, I'm doing software myself, you know, and it's like, it's not it's not like a little tiny amount of work. It's like a lot of work, even though I have Chrome extensions, you know? So it's like, it's a lot of, uh, <laughs> um, I don't know. It's a lot of admiration coming from me to you because that. Thank you. Work. Yeah. It's, um, uh, I don't sleep a lot. Um, <laughs> you know, Hey, you know what? Hey, who knows? It's, um, it's, it's passionate, you know, to Kim, to be frank with you. Um, cool. Oh, that's an awesome one. I'll definitely, let me do that one. Um, let me answer that and then I'll go on my little tangent. So, um, as I was building it, you know, as we're going through it, like I built it so you could literally just like, I wanted like one click website, you know what I mean? Just like, boom. And, um, I ultimately integrating in some, some code, uh, you know, a lot of it is pre-purchased code that I buy and I connect it. And this one was just so fast. And I wanted somebody to, uh, I wanted the name to convey that this was like, you could just have a website like instantly, you know, really fast. And so the word insutanto came from the Japanese word, uh, which means instant. So uh -huh. insutanto is the Japanese word for instant. Uh -huh. And so that's, that's what it was. Um, so it's, um, instant in Japanese and see the thing like today's day and age, like it's really tough to get a name that isn't being used somewhere else or going to be confused with somebody or stuff like that. And I wanted something to really like stand out. And so that's how the name came about. Okay. That's really cool. Yeah. I, that. I learned something new. Instant in Japanese. <laughs> yeah. Instant in Japanese. <laughs> Tanto. Yeah. Um, but what were you going to say? I totally forgot what were you well, what I was going to say is like, you know, it's, it's, you talked about like how much time must go into this, you oh, know, yeah. how much you've been yeah. going, you know, when you start doing something just like you all, like when you started probably your, um, digital marketing career, you know, when you guys have started this, like you get in front of a computer and the next thing you, you, you look up and you don't realize like the whole day is gone. You know, and it's like, wait a minute, like what happened? And yeah. so literally that's really what happened is that, you know, I started with just a website builder. You know, all I wanted to do was to show people another way to build a digital agency. You know, I just wanted to show somebody a different way that, hey, you don't have to start off with Facebook ads to actually get more Facebook clients or digital marketing clients. Because like, I mean, seriously, like, Let's put it to the real. Let's 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 talk real here. Okay. Is it really about Facebook ads? <clears throat> Is it really about funnels? Is it really about bots? It's not. What it's about is the freedom. I'm going to give you my catchphrase line. It's the freedom to be able to do whatever you want with whomever you want, whenever you want. You know. 
you get to have more time and money to spend doing the things that you love with the ones you love. That's what this is all about. People are looking to create a lifestyle. Facebook ads or Facebook ad agency is just a vehicle. Click funnels or funnels is a vehicle. People do this with SEO. People do it with bots. You know, look at Andrew Crozy. I mean, the kid built a massive thing. And so what we all desire in life as humans is connection. We all desire connection. We're humans. That's how we were created. You know, I don't want to get into Bible stuff because I don't really talk about that. <clears throat> but what is the meaning of life? Like, do, like, literally, I want you to ask yourself, what is the meaning of life? Like, why? What are we here for? What's it all about? Kim, why do you get up every day? Why are you on here? Why are you building your group? Why do you guys all do digital marketing? <laughs> I don't know. It's fulfilling to me. <laughs> It's fulfilling to help people. Correct. It's, I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to give you the answer. It's all about love. That's what it's all about. It's love. Okay. So let me, let me, let me break this down for you. Love is just a higher degree of like. Now, Kim, do you enjoy what you're doing? Like you like what you're doing. Like, yeah. so you like what you're doing, but is this really what you want to do 24 hours a day? Like, you told me that you have a boyfriend. Yep. Like, what if I just handed you, you know, a million dollars? Would you be sitting here interviewing me? No, you'd most likely be going to do what you want to do with the ones you love. Do what you love with the ones you love. Like, that's what this whole thing is all about, is that we want to create, a lot of people say, we want to create freedom. We want to create that opportunity. To be able to go do anything we want, whenever we really want, it's because it's what we like. Well, actually, I would still do interviews. I think this would be fun um, for me. Because it's what you like to do. Yes. but right? It's all about like. <laughs> it's I like. It gained freedom. And then I started building a community. Right. That's why it, I had time to do this. It's know? all about like. Mm -hmm. Like. You're choosing to do what you like. Yes. And that's what we all do. And that's what, like, what the world's about. And so it's all about a vehicle. Now, I went on a tangent here. Um, and that's where I kind of wanted to show people, you know, back me up a little about a year here that, hey, and you can still get that goal and achieve that goal. Maybe you really like Facebook ads, but you just need more clients. Maybe you really like funnels. You just want to build funnels for people. Well, how can you get more clients? And all I'm saying is that here's a really cool way that you can walk into a business owner and be like, hey, I don't want to work for free for you. And um, I want to, you know, I want you as a client. And so the one way that I found, and again, it's, it's me. And now it's being demonstrated by well over 300 people in my community that you could go in there and offer somebody a website. Does it have to be? No. Maybe, you, maybe you're offering them funnels. Maybe you're offering them social media, whatever it is. But it was just another way to achieve that end goal. You know, one thing that I found, Kim, here's what I did find about doing this way, okay? Here's, here's what I found is that I found out that I'm not the world's greatest AdWords person. I found out that I'm not the world's greatest Facebook person. I'm not the world's greatest advertiser. And I found out that even though I believe that I'm very, very high level, I still make mistakes and I still fuck up. And it's not my fault. Yeah. AdWords, Facebook ads, all these different things, they change. It's, it's an auction. But I don't want to lose my client. Mm -hmm. And so I build a solid relationship with my client in the beginning. You know, yeah. like when my AdWords started shit in the bed with my client, I had such a client. It's not like, oh, well, well, you only do AdWords. You're done. No. We move them to Amazon. And boom put this, this scroll to the roof. But anyways, that's just like one, one little kind of idea. And I'm probably not explaining it correctly, but anyways, hopefully they So let's see what we got here. we got electrical impulses going on. What's the electrical impulses? Oh, John, I like those electrical impulses that I identify as love. Makes me feel warm and cozy inside. John and uh, Matt and Catelyn, they're just talking to themselves in the comments. <laughs> 
you guys, do you have any questions for Aaron right now? Um, well, uh, just we'll take a few more questions, then we'll wrap it up because usually these interviews are one hour long, and this one yeah. fly really fast. It's we like are there. Fast. Yeah. Um, so any last minute questions, you guys, you could still, you know, just comment with each other in this comment section, but any relevant questions for Aaron before, um, we wrap this up, uh, all right, no questions right now. So I'll ask mine. So, you know, in Sutanto, it seems like you're, t you know, the pain point of people trying to start their own agencies and it's not like they they they're equipped with one software one thing and then they can go out and like crush it um it, they need like a lot of support in order to be successful like chatbot sequence hosting a, a bunch of things so it's kind of like a suitcase uh, that they can refer to and and have all these tools all set to go the toolbox to the agency world right yes oh okay <laughs> oh, john has a interesting question what's the next move for the software i'm interested yeah, in that it too. is gone so so john um i am focused 100 percent on building out to 500 agency entrepreneurs okay uh the community is just about broken 300 and i want to get 500 it's a number that i think is in my mind i don't know why um why i've said it but it just seems like a uh, a number that um, I think is reasonable for what's going on. And um, the goal there is to, and it's not just about like, like a lot of people will judge their success based upon the amount of sales. You know, I judge my success based upon the number of ongoing successful agencies, you know? And so that's where I really want to impact people. You know, my my heart yearns or, you know, it, it's 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 soft for a lot of those people that have jumped into this digital marketing game or agency game and have struggled for a considerable amount of time. You know, they might have bought a course and it didn't work out the way that they thought it would. You know, that hope and that dream and that desire is still there for them. And, you know, maybe they just didn't get the input in the correct manner or way that I feel that some people who aren't inclined to take action, you know, you watch video, but you don't take action. And so then next thing you know, you know, the on to the next thing, on to the next thing. Well, Insutanto is a way that people can get that input and then apply, you know, imply. So, you know, for those people out there that, you know, may have, you know, feel like, that it's a revolving circle of buying the next course, buying the next course, buying the next course, buying the next course. I want to invite you to give this a shot um, where you can actually go ahead and apply, um, you know, the, your own techniques and own strategies, you know, and stuff like that. So that's, that's what I'm focused on, John, for the next, so I hit 500. Once I break that, I'm going after Wix and I'm going after Squarespace and I'm going after Shopify. All right, John, there's your answer. He's going after all them for agencies. For people doing agencies or in general? Yes. <laughs> yeah. So um, right now I teach all these aspired agency owners to go out and solicit people that potentially probably are using Wix, Squarespace, Shopify, you know, GoDaddy or Yellow Page Builder or Super Pages Builder, whatever those websites are, and get them as clients. So I'm not actively running marketing campaigns at those clients so that I'm not like interfering. I'm supporting the marketers and then they go out and get the end user. But once this thing goes and I want to take it to scale, I'm going to go directly after, you know, the end user, which is originally what I, I, I intended for the platform when I built it. It was originally for small business owners, brick and mortar. That's what it was originally for because that's what my heart is. You know, I, I've been there for, you know, three times over, I guess you could say, you know, from, from college into furniture into the mattress world. Um, that's what, you know, I dove into was the brick and mortar world. And I know that those brick and mortar entrepreneurs, let me, let me leave you with this. Okay. Okay. Here's what, here's what I'm going to leave you with. Okay. The one thing you guys need to know is that these brick and mortar entrepreneurs are just like you. They have the entrepreneurial spirit in them. 
Yep. Not to get religious, not to get anything like that, but how did man or human or species or whatever, like we get to the earth? Like you can make, the, the point is whether you believe that we came from animals, most people, some people say monkeys, or we were put here by some magical mystery in the spirit in the sky, that point is moot, okay? That point is moot. It's irrelevant. The point is, is that there were humans, beings that were naked, that were here, and they had to figure out how to get shelter, how to get food, how to get other stuff. They had to be entrepreneurial. Yes. That's why I believe that we all have the spirit of entrepreneurship in us. All of us as humans, it's in us. And that has been, you know, my thing is to help those brick and mortar entrepreneurs who have that spirit in them even stronger because they may have mortgaged their home or they may have taken out of their retirement and banked it all on it and maybe sacrifice their kids' tuition to, you know, whatever it is. Yeah. The sacrifice to go get a brick and mortar store or to go buy a work truck or, you know, buy a carpentry or, or, or a retail store, whatever it is. And this day and age, you really need to be in the digital game. You know, you've got to be in the digital game. There's one way or other. You better be involved in doing digital marketing, whether it's social media, whether it's uh, SEO, whether it's, you know, AdWords. It's, you've got to be in the digital game or else you're going to go out of business. And so here's an opportunity for a generation to support that previous generation that might have risked it all for us. Yeah. You know, we can go and help them because they're not going to come home after a long day after working from nine to five and then sit down and go watch a webinar by Russell or a webinar by, by Ty Lopez or a webinar by somebody. No, they're coming home to their kids. They're coming home to their wife. They're coming home to their husband and they want to spend that time with them. Yeah. You know, they don't want to learn digital marketing. So there's an opportunity, incredible opportunity for these aspiring digital marketers to go out there and do that. And I'm hopefully that I've made it uh, easy or f I'm able to facilitate that process for those who may have not been successful utilizing traditional just courses. Thank you. <laughs> that is awesome. Thank you so much, Aaron. And hi, Johnny. Uh, we were just talking about you. Uh, Aaron was giving me a lot of good praises for you. Hey, Greg, thanks for joining us. Um, thanks guys for joining us, but we are wrapping it up right now. And um, Aaron, uh, we've been talking about how to find you this whole time, but other than going to your website, insutanto.com, um, where website. else can they find you? That's it. <laughs> just go there. Just funnel everyone there. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, literally just, you know, mess it. I'm on Facebook. You know, that's pretty much it. I don't, um, you know, I don't, I don't really run a group. I only run the, the paid group. So, um, you know, if you guys are interested, if you want to try out Insutanto yourself, just to give it a try, you know, there's a, a 14 day trial or just, just PM me. Or, or message me, you know, um, you know, I, I, that's, that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. Bye. Bye, Callan. Bye, John. Bye, everyone. Um, so, Aaron, I'm going to click in broadcast and it ends it to the audience and then I'll yeah. say talk to you privately and then okay. we will end it. All right. so, thank, thank you, everybody, for joining me. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thanks. Oh, yeah. If you like that video, then you will love all the resources that I have over at kimcdang.com. That is K-I-M-C-D-A-N-G.com. There you will find all my courses, my extensions, all the offers that um, I have, as well as a lot of free resources if you are just getting started.